Hello dancers, welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam and today I'm gonna lead you through a very fast and fiery flow. So we're gonna be moving very quickly in and out of our poses, really best to follow my voice, follow my cues. And we're really looking for a fast activation of our core, our legs, and our shoulders. This is a perfect flow for you to do nice and short if it's before an audition or before, before a performance, if you don't have much space, if you don't have much time. We are gonna spend most of our time in this class standing. And we are gonna start, if you do have a mat with you, at the top of your mat. Big toes together, heels apart. We're gonna flow through three sun salutations. And the first one I'll lead you through, the next two you can kind of do at your own pace. Inhale, arms reach up overhead, hands to touch. Exhale, forward fold over those legs. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back to plank. Take one breath here. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog, up to you. And then exhale, tuck the toes, take it back to down dog. Let's just take one breath here. On your next inhale, hop or step your feet forward, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, push to stand, arms come together. And exhale, hands in front of your heart, repeating that twice more. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back. One breath. On your next exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, down dog. Take one breath here. Inhale, step it forward, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, push to stand. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Last round, we're gonna hold it in plank. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, take it back to plank, and we're gonna hang out here. Finding a long position from your heels all the way to your head, and right away, flipping onto your right hand, lift the left up. Keep your feet separated, so your left is in front of the right, because on your next exhale, we're gonna come back crossing that arm, and then inhale, lift back to your side plank. Exhale, twist, left arm reaches across. Inhale, back up, twice more. Twist, and back up. Last time, twist, and back up. And you're gonna stack your left leg on top of your right, feeling nice and long. Lift the left leg, balance here, and we'll take it back to our forward plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. This time take three breaths here. And on your next inhale, look forward, step between the palms, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, push to stand. Exhale, hands down. Repeating that again, stopping at plank. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale to fold, step it back. Hold it here. Take a couple of breaths, finding this long position, belly button in. And flipping onto your left leg, keep the feet separated. We exhale, cross. Inhale, up. Exhale to cross. Keep that shoulder nice and stable. Exhale, cross. Inhale, up. Last one. Inhale, up, stack the feet. Lifting the right leg up. Feel nice and long and strong through the side of your body as we step back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog three breaths and we'll place the knees down onto the mat coming to all fours but not resting just yet right away you're gonna lift keep your toes tucked underneath you and then you're gonna lift your knees just an inch or so above the mat make sure your knees are right in line with your hips and from here you're gonna allow yourself to sink into your shoulders shoulder blades come together and then push away again sink and push three 
and four. Check in with your belly button, make sure it's nice and strong. Pulling in towards your spine. Six, two more, seven, and eight. Now we have lifting right arm, left leg off the mat. Just about an inch or so, left arm, right leg. Switch, and down, and switch, and down. Four more times, lift, and down, lift, and down. Keep that core nice and stable, and bring your knees back down to the floor. Keep the feet tucked, and send your hips back to rest on your heels. From this position, feel that you're growing up nice and tall, reaching the arms, both arms out directly beside you. And from this position, I want you to feel that you're reaching out as far away from you as possible. So as if both fingertips are trying to reach the opposite wall. And from here, you're gonna take your pinky finger and draw a circle forward. So continue reaching towards the walls and circle those pinkies. And now take your thumb and circle it forward. And pinky circles around and back. And you wanna aim to feel this in the center of your back. Thumbs circle forward and down. Pinkies back and up. Thumbs forward and down. And pinkies. And thumbs. Good, and shake out the arms. Come forward, just tap the balls of your feet. And from here, you're gonna come down onto your elbows, tucking the toes once more to lift up into dolphin. So just like down dog, but our elbows are down on the floor. Try to relax your heels, get a, take a moment to get comfortable. And then you're gonna exhale, come forward as far as you can go and push yourself back to that dolphin position. Again, let's actually inhale to take it forward. Exhale, push to take you back. Inhale forward, push back again, and back. And five, and back, six, and back, two more, seven, last one, here we go, we have eight, and back, and now walk your feet out, relax your hips onto the mat, keep your elbows where they are, finding a sphinx pose, just arching generously through the back. Feel that your shoulder blades are pulling down. Shoulders are down and away from your ears. So you're still pressing your elbows into the floor. You might feel a little bit of fire through your back, which is exactly what we're going for. Continuing to push those elbows into the floor, go longer, one extra inch. And we'll take a quick child's pose. Let's allow the knees to fall apart. Let your spine curve, relax your forehead towards the mat. Breathing deep. Steady your breath, steady your heart rate. Feel that fire in your core, that fire in your back. And we're gonna roll ourselves up right away, coming back into our down dog, tucking the toes, lifting the hips, take it back. We're gonna swing the right leg up, open up that hip, and take it forward, finding a warrior two. Spin the back heel, arms lift. Feel nice and strong through the core here, and long through the back, feeling all those muscles that we just worked. And we're gonna take the back arm, circle it forward, finding a high lunge. And from here, we're gonna take the arms back, push up nice and powerfully from that back leg, all the way up to warrior three. And then from here, snapping up knee into your chest, arms stay down, and then take the arms up again, finding your high lunge. And step it forward again, warrior three. Lift it up, knee to your chest, and step it back. Ooh, this one also tests your balance, here we go. Take it forward, warrior three. Step up, and take it back. Last one, up to warrior three, keep that left hip turned in as we snap up knee to your chest and take it back 
and hands down. Breathe up into your downward dog. Nice, slow, steady breaths. And we're gonna lift the left leg up to the sky, opening up that hip nice and long, swing it forward. Warrior two, spin the back foot. Long and strong through the back here. Steady breaths. And right away, spin the back arm up to your high lunge. Hold here for a couple of breaths. Feel that core nice and strong and stable. And from here, we step up, push. Warrior three, stand up, lift the knee, take it back to your high lunge. And again, lift it up, lift the knee, and step it back to your lunge. And again, step up, warrior three, lift. Feel that pelvis tuck right underneath you as you lift. Step back to your lunge. Last one, warrior three. Knee to your chest and lift and take it back. And from here, you're gonna open up to a second position, nice and wide, swaying from side to side. I'm just gonna turn to face you here. Once again, steadying your breath. Let's take your right shoulder forward, finding a twist. And we'll take your left shoulder forward, finding a twist. Back to center, lifting the body up. Finding a solid second position in a grand plie. And from here, let's use the arms lifting up, arms up to fifth, and again, plie. Lift, and plie. Lift, two more. Last one, plie. Lift, plie again, this time to hold. And we're just gonna pulse, nice and easy. Lifting the left heel. Lifting the right heel, and left, and right. Again, left, and right. And let's lift both heels up off the mat, weight right between your first and second toe, and push all the way up to a rise. Maybe let's bring the arms up overhead with us. Feel that core nice and strong. Feel your legs nice and stable, sending energy into the floor. And we'll release, let's turn the legs in, take a forward fold, nice and easy. Swing side to side. Maybe you wanna grab opposite elbows. Maybe you wanna interlace your fingers behind your back. Do what you need here. And from this position, let's take a plie through both knees. Nice juicy bend to stretch. And once again, bend and stretch. And plie, slowly roll up through your spine. And we'll come to stand, bring your feet together, just so that I can say thank you so much for doing this flow with me. I hope you feel nice and fired up and ready for whatever it is you have ahead of you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you go, and I will see you on the mat again very, very soon.